your only contact is a singles match. And it's for the Warrior Wrestling Championship! Fans, welcome back here at Marion Catholic High School. Warrior Wrestling's Sweet 16, and we are kicking things off. Nick, this uh, would be a main event anywhere. The Warrior Wrestling Championship is on the line in this matchup, and the challenger right there, Jonathan Gresham. Yeah, scary look at Jonathan Gresham, the octopus here, the foundation of Ring of Honor. You know, recently, Jonathan Gresham, he said he's done with just the pure wrestling division. Time for him to move up in Ring of Honor. He's looking at the world title now, Rich. And looking to capture the Warrior Wrestling Championship here tonight in Chicago. Trey Miguel, the reigning and defending champion. So similar to what we saw at Warrior Wrestling, where the women's championship was on the line in the very first matchup of the night. Tonight, it is the Warrior Wrestling Championship on the line. Of course, we know what happened last time. Oh, yeah. Wait, one second. Yes, like I said, yeah, like you were saying, Rich, in the last show, we had a Thunder Rosa capture the Warrior Women's Championship with Kylie Ray caught everybody completely on guard here at Warrior Wrestling in the opening bout for something like that to happen. And here tonight, Trey Miguel, He's going to have to put his time on the line, just like Tyler Gray did in that opening match. And he has very stiff competition, just like Tyler Gray had in Jonathan Gresham, the octopus across the ring. Could we see history repeat itself? Could we see Warrior title changes in two opening matches on back-to-back -back shows? Right now? Uh, it is very possible, and of course, we kick things off with None other than the legend himself, Brett the Hitman Hart, making an appearance here at Marion Catholic High School for Warrior Wrestling. And you talk about one of the all-time greats, Brett the Hitman Hart. And you look at the, the two men that are in the ring here tonight, and, and you wonder what kind of future awaits the two of these competitors here. Obviously, both of them competed uh, around the globe, around the U.S. for a number of years now. But, you know, when you have somebody with the legendary status of of Bret Hart in the building. It really gives it perspective, doesn't it? It does. And, and that's Introducing a first, from Atlanta, Georgia, he is a Ring of Honor superstar. He is the octopus, Jonathan Gresham. <laughs> and his opponent, from Toledo, Ohio, he is the Fresh Prince of Midair, an Impact Wrestling Superstar, and your Warrior Wrestling Champion, Trey Miguel! Listen to that reaction, Rich. The fans here at Warrior Wrestling, they love their Trey Miguel. But you know what? I hope he doesn't get so full of himself off those applause from those fans there tonight. And he keeps focused on Jonathan Gresham because he has a, a, a guy who is at the top of his game. What is he doing? Oh, he's buying Jordans here off of a fan at ringside. It's been a big week for sneakers in pro wrestling, Rich. Uh, explain that to me a little bit. Well, uh, you know, obviously, I'll call a spade a spade here. There was a sneaker discussion between Top Dollar AJ Francis of NXT, who just did a diss track to the Young Bucks, basically saying they're imitating. He's the authentic deal. But it looks like Trey Miguel instead Buying these Jordans is a, is a way to make friends with Gresham. Maybe early on, hey, a little drive, soften him up. Maybe it goes a little easier on him here in the match. Oh, I, I guess Gresham not accepting the gift from the Warrior Champion. Well, I think he was trying to uh, he was trying to see oh, if they would fit. Oh, oh, they, they didn't fit. Uh, perhaps not. If they fit, then Gresham would have taken taken the shoot. I get it. All right. 
Well, Jonathan Gresham here, I think unfazed by uh, Trey Miguel's uh, little sneaker shenanigans to start this uh, this match off here. You know, what's a rascal, always a rascal, I guess. And we are on. Gold. You can feel the energy in the room here right now, Rich. Trey Miguel, the Warrior Champion, with the tattoos in the uh, in the red and black. Kind of looks uh, pink and black a in little bit, like, right? Yeah. It has, it, it's similar to, uh, of course, uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh yeah, being a, maybe a bit of an homage. But. A little bit of trash talking. It looks like both Gresham and Miguel are having some fun. Well, it looks like Trey is showing a little uh, uh, timidity here as he's accomplishing the traps and the, and the physique of Jonathan Gresham. And uh, right out of the gate, not where you want to be with a guy like Jonathan Gresham on the mat. Lots of great action on the way here tonight. We have a packed card on the way. And I'll tell you what, starting off with the Warrior Wrestling title on the line, that's something else, but we will see the women's title, or the uh, Ring of Honor women's title, I should say, up for grabs later on tonight. And of course, the Warrior Wrestling Lucha Championship will be defended in our main event tonight, but lots more on the way. We'll get to all of it as we continue on here tonight, but a battle of strength here. Jonathan, Jonathan Gresham, not a very big guy as far as uh, height, but man, he is solid, isn't he? He has really worked on uh, bulking up his physique and just giving himself uh, a lot more presence, a lot more mass when he's working with somebody on the mat. You know, it's also obviously giving him a lot of uh, uh, advantages in the upper position as well while he's up on his feet. And you can see him clubbing away on Trey here right now. And yeah, I mean, I'm surprised to see that Trey was showing so much humidity and fear going into this. You know, when you're walking in there with the Gresham, I would think you'd want to show more confidence. You know, I was very surprised to see Trey coming in here and see the old rascal of old. Gresham trying to shoot him off, but uh, Trey Miguel able to hold on to that side headlock. Nice counter and escape by Gresham. Oh, and here we go. Up. Oh, to try to stretch him there. Nice headlock takeover. And we'll slow things down right here. Miguel looks a little frustrated now. Tail of this thing so far, right? I mean, this guy has got to get it together. He's got to find his confidence right now. You got Jonathan Gresham right there, peak athlete. He's been training every day to refine all parts of his game. And look, right there, rolled right around Trey. He's about to put him in a hammer lock there. And now Gresham once again taking control, shooting Trey off those ropes. Missed with the clothesline. Maybe not where you want to sit. There it was. Big single leg drop kick by Miguel. And Gresham. Pops right back up. No, oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, was that grabbed him by the nose? Yeah. No. Oh, Ace Crusher. And Gresham tumbles to the outside. Uh-oh. Comes Miguel. Suicide oh. dive. Miguel, there's that face I'm looking for right now. There's that, there's that intensity, that anger, that emotion from Trey Miguel starting to breathe through in his eyes. Back elbow by Gresham. And I think what we saw earlier, Rich, was what Trey's gonna have to do to win this match against Gresham. He's gonna have to utilize the one thing he has better than Gresham, and that's speed. Takes oh. out the leg, Basically. and Gresham now stops on the hand. Momentum off the road, uh, kick right to the kidneys. And Miguel now tumbles to the outside as the referee begins to administer the count. It's become a bit of a king of the mountain type situation. Which man can control the ring here? Each one of them taking the time to knock each other to the outside area. But Russia's gonna have to get Trey Miguel back into the ring. It's not gonna help him get that Warrior Wrestling Championship if Trey Miguel gets counted out this way. Miguel taking his time getting back in, and that is the champion's advantage, but wow, I'm surprised he oh, man! Walks right into that kick, right to the elbow. Gresh is so assertive in the ring, you know? He's really focused on the technical side of his game uh, really intensely over the past two years. And look at that joint manipulation there. He can take a finger 
No, and he can make you twist your entire arm. Nearly a pinfall right there from Gresham. And once again, look at him just bending the fingers back, rolling through that wrist, trying to bring Trace back and limp to the ground. Oh, and, oh, oh wow, man. Yeah. You can feel the inside of your wrist right there starting to crackle like bubble wrap. Gresham. Another close call. And you can see the look on Miguel's face tells the entire story. Cover with the crucifix, no. Nice arm drag by Gresham, who's really controlling the pace here. Oh yeah, Gresham's been on him the entire match like syrup on pancakes. You can see him right now twisting, again, twisting away at that arm once again. Done a great job of picking apart Trey Miguel piece by piece so far here in this match. Oh, driving that elbow into the lower spine of Trey Miguel. And that forces Miguel right down to the canvas. Gresham in full control. Look at the way that he has the arm tied up in that hammerlock position. Now grabs hold of the, the right hand, the right wrist. Miguel trying to fight it off, but nothing doing. And Jonathan Gresham with the Warrior Champion tied up in all sorts of compromising positions. Gresham having a little bit of fun with the crowd. And you wonder where he's gonna go from here. Oh. And look at that, full control, both arms, Trey Miguel on the ground, and he's not even using his hands right now, Rich. He has the ability to hit this man, he has the ability to throw a forearm, drop a knee, or drop an elbow, and he's just not doing it. And now that he's he's got those arms free, it's time to take this a little bit further. How much more of a pretzel does he want to turn Trey Miguel into in this moment? Think about some of the title defenses so far for Trey Miguel. Oh yeah, I mean just last just last uh, show we had Jake something, a big uh, hoss right there that Trey Miguel was able to take down. Single leg crab into a pin, and a two count. Gresham. Uh, it, this is Gresham's match to lose at this point, Nick. Yeah, and you know Gresham here walking in with Vince Mazzotti. Just two shows ago that Gresham was taking on Davy Richards. We'll see here later tonight. But Gresham able to come out on top of Davy Richards. I think actually that's the match that set him up for this title match here at Warrior Wrestling. So both men right now riding a little bit of momentum and Trey Miguel trying to find some momentum of his own. Warrior Wrestling title on the line in this matchup. Trey Miguel, the champion. Jonathan Gresham, the challenger. And the two of them just slugging it out in the center of the ring. Trying to even up the odds here in this matchup because it has been all Gresham. You gotta love the intensity here by Trey Miguel. But one more time, it is Gresham. Able to take advantage, and now Gresham just thinking about his next maneuver. Trey Miguel, Warrior Wrestling Champion for more than a year now. Captured the title back on September the 26th, 2020. 386 days as champion. Defeated up Ryan Cage, Jr. Ryan Cage in a triple threat match. Surprised everybody, really. Cover here, Gresham trying to put it away, and Miguel outed to that successful defense against Lee Moriarty. The Steven Series just a few months back. And as you mentioned, the win over Jake something. Yes, the, four, or the third big title defense here tonight for Trey Miguel, and I just keep seeing as I watch this. Yeah, the third, yeah, the third big title defense here. I got it right, Rich. Put your fingers in my face. Well, what are you talking about? You know, I, I'm, I keep getting flashbacks here as I'm watching this. The last month when Thunder Rosa shocked the world and was able to beat Kylie Ray in our opening contest to take that Warrior Wrestling Women's Championship. And Gresham here just driving that elbow right into the side of Miguel's arm. You know, a lot of wrestlers pick the legs or the lower back to target the match. It's very unique. Gresham here going after the arms almost the entire time. Hasn't let go of Miguel's left arm. No, just ragdolling him here just by a single wrist. And that's the thing about Gresham that's been so impressive this whole match. How he's able to take such a little thing like a wrist grab or, or, or a small finger and just manipulate your entire body. Miguel finally able to find some room. Create a little bit of separation with that forearm to the face. 
And look, right there, it's paying off for Gresham. Trey was able to use his arm to throw uh, Gresham because they've been so beat up. He's looking for the side suplex. Gresham able to get out of it. Elbow right back into the arm. Back elbow. And a kick. Now a backflip by him. Double stop. Shades of that hot fire flame from the Rascals days. Trey Miguel's in an awful lot of pain. You can tell just by the look on his face. The left arm kind of limp. But that double stomp to the back really stunned the challenger, Jonathan Gresham. And things are back at uh, an even playing field, perhaps. It looks like uh, Miguel may be a little worse for the wear at this point in the matchup. He's able to connect with the back elbow. Big boot to the face in this title matchup. Miguel heads him off the ropes, the champion. Spike Rana, but roll through, and now Gresham. Hold on here, Miguel with the cover. And out at two, Jonathan Gresham stays alive. The energy stays fast and... That wheelbarrow, now Lamontis saw great, but reversed by Miguel and into the cover, kick out at two. Miguel has been so quick on these pins. Miguel again wrenches the Northern Light suplex. Gresham trying to power his way out, two count. Floated over. And look, Trey tried to apply a submission hold in his arm or over here. And Gresham now is the one who's in trouble. Miguel trying to tie up that arm in a hammer lock. And just wrenching away there. You can see he is applying his shoulder to the top shoulder of Gresham there. He's got the maximum leverage possible. Gresham reaching out for the ropes to try and break the hole, but it's just fingertips away. Can he get there? Nice job by Miguel to recognize the ring position. Yeah, but he's losing his grip here on Gresham. Gresham is definitely being able to get out of the of the hammer lock here, and he's now looking like he could even reverse this, which he did. Nice body oh. slam. It's Gresham now the one starting to show some fatigue. Yeah, this match is taking a lot out of both. Referee over to check on both men to make sure that they are able to continue. And look at Trey Miguel, the champion here, completely out of it, dazed and confused, rolling over, gasping for breath. Jonathan Gresham here similarly, rubbing at his eyes, trying to get to his feet. And Gresham here looks like he wants Miguel to turn around to get into something here and a huge chop right across the chest. Irish whip into the buckles. Another big chop. Nearly sent Miguel up and over the turnbuckles. Gresham gets the boot up. Momentum off the ropes. Oh, high knee there by Miguel. Thought he might have caught him. Gresham off the ropes of the moonsault. Oh, big stop to the elbow. And Gresham again now, rolling up Miguel for the title. Is that enough to put it away? Oh, nearly. Nearly got him. He had him so tight there, Rich. He really did. I thought he had him there. You know, and it looked like that ref may have pulled a little bit too. I don't know. Maybe feeling bad for Trey right now. How can you not look at the guy? And again, Gresham has just wreaked havoc on the arm of Trey Miguel this whole bout. Very difficult to fight a man when both of your arms are really useless which is what Gresham has been trying to make Trey's arms as low bout. Fifty-fifty crowd here tonight in Chicago. And a very dangerous position Trey Miguel is in here now. Gresham setting up Miguel and Trey with whatever strength he has left in the left arm is trying to fight Gresham off. Ooh. That'll ring the bell. And from the top, looking for the sunset bomb, but Gresham able to hang on. Now pounding away, Miguel out of it. And uh-oh, oh no. Well, able oh. to hold on momentarily, but a big kick right to the forehead. And Miguel whips around oh. with a high 619. And there is no give there. Trey Miguel heading back up top. Who knows what he's got in mind, but that's his element. Gresham's good on the floor, Trey's good in the air. Meteor off the top. Miguel to put it away. Got him, oh wait a minute. That's was Trevor that Outlaw. it? That's Trevor Outlaw. He was, he was part of the matches that were happening earlier tonight. What is that now? I don't know whether or not it's a three count or not, but it, at this point, does not matter. That's the Punk Rock Prince. 
These are all performers that were that were on the, the matches before the show, Rich. These were for, these were guys that were wrestling during the fan fest. What is going on here right now? Now, right as the referee came down with the three count, I'm not sure whether or not he got the three count. Somebody get out of here. Somebody do something. Wait, that's Bret Hart's music. And that's, oh, come on. And that is not, that is obviously not Bret Hart. That is Frank the Clown. I don't know. They're tough. They look a lot. They look very similar. Are we sure that's Frank the Clown? Get out of here. Are we sure? Did you miss me? Oh, that's Frank. That's definitely Frank. On July 17th, 2021, Frank the Clown left Warrior Wrestling. But on October 16th, 2021, Frank the Clown is back. And I'm not just back to be a part of the show. I am back to be the show. Because in case everybody has forgotten, I am Mr. Warrior Wrestling! And time and time again, Principal Steve and Warrior Management have tried to get rid of and in fact kill Frank the Clown! But Frank the Clown always finds his way back. And so for tonight, I am declaring war on Warrior Wrestling! About time. If you guys wanted your precious championship match, who Jonathan Gresham and Trey Miguel, they're so great. Well, guess what? You're going to break the cloud and you're going to like it. You know what? Fright the cloud has other things to do. Guys, you did a great job. You really did a great job. I love you guys. Fright the cloud has to go now. He has to go back to a wedding. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. A wedding. You guys did great. You guys did great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, uh, Frank. Oh, oh, wait a minute now. Fresh it back up, and Trey Miguel, I don't think he's too pleased oh. either. Oh. And these two men That's working together man. now. That's, That's too bad. And, and wait, Frank the Clown's still over here. To the outside of the fans, this match has been ruled a no contest. Well, it will not go down as a win for Trey Miguel. I thought he got the three count. Miguel retains the championship. I thought he got the three count regardless. The match result thrown out, and uh, I think the, the bigger thing to take away from all of this, Nick, Frank the Clown declaring war on Warrior Wrestling. Are you kidding me? Are we sure that Frank's not working with Trey? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I just think it's a little convenient that Trey Miguel comes in all cocky. Let's, let's do some shoe exchange here. And then, of course, you know, when, when the, the going gets tough like right at the end there, a bunch of guys come out and mysteriously the match gets thrown out and Trey Miguel keeps the title. There are no coincidences in pro wrestling, Rich. I just want to put it out there. Call me Joe Rogan, slap some tinfoil to my head. I think there might be more to this. Now Trey Miguel retaining the championship here tonight at Warrior Sweet 16. That is the hashtag to use. We still have lots more action on the way here tonight, Nick. And I'm the Warrior and Impact Wrestling X Division Champion. Get it. What is, uh, what is Miguel grabbing his sneakers and uh, off he goes.